the Socialist Equality Party is standing in the New South Wales election to take forward the fight against war and austerity. We tell workers the truth. This election is not going to solve anything. Labor, Liberal, the Greens, these are pro-war parties of the banks and big business. The real issue is the working class building its own independent political movement against all of these parties and against the capitalist system. What do you think about the war in Ukraine? Uh, I think that yeah, it's kind of scary because we don't get a say in it and we're the people that are going to war in the future. We're going, we're going to get our lives ruined rather than, uh, rather than the people who are sending us, to, uh, uh, sending us there. Today, February 25th, is a significant date. It marks one year since the beginning of the war in Ukraine. Tens or even hundreds of thousands have already been killed, but that's just the beginning. This is not a regional conflict, an Eastern European conflict. This is the opening shot of a world war. It's now indisputable that the United States and NATO are engaged in a war with Russia, a nuclear armed power. The aim is not to defend the Ukrainian people, their sovereignty or democracy. It's to take forward the interests of the Wall Street banks and corporations that have laid waste to the Middle East, to Iraq, to Afghanistan over the past 30 years. You can see today's state in Iraq, there's no water, no electricity, no clean food, no everything. You can clearly see that during, with every country, with issues where America and the Western society intervenes, everything goes downhill. There's a war for, you know, the oil, the money, the gold. Based yeah. on lies. Based on lies. Even with the nuclear, the weapons of mass destruction that were apparently not found in Iraq. Yeah, I believe that Julian Assange should be free due to the fact that he's been leaking all these you know, information from the United Nation, uh, from the United States. And I believe what he's doing is the right thing, a moral thing, to expose the truth behind the invasion of Iraq, my home country, and all the other attacks on the Middle East. They're using Ukraine as a puppet just to get to Russia and, you know, and those specific countries, China, just another way to go into China, go into Russia. Do you think it's the same sort of motives as the Iraq war? A hundred percent. They're using these countries as, you know, puppets just to go into the countries and steal their resources. With everything that has America intervened, it always destroys the country that they're invading. Like, and it obviously leads on to worse and worse and worse, you know, events in the future. Yeah, it's the danger of a nuclear war? Oh, a hundred It's clearly like the Cold War 2.0, but with more, you know, with more talk, with more action. Why do you think the governments that are in power uh, you know, don't stop war? Because it, it's, it's not really about uh, the war, or it's not really about the money, it's about the power. It's about if they, them being in control. Wars keep them in power. It, it makes more of the rich unite uh, rather than, and makes the poor, <laughs> makes the poor in differentiate. Yeah being differentiated and being divided that, that's the reason they are doing this they they want to uh, they want us to turn uh, turn against uh, a common enemy while they just laugh and you know stay in their mansions or their or big homes or whatever what we're putting forward the socialist equality party is the necessity to build an international anti-war movement of the working class workers have the same interests wherever they're from from the US Australia China in opposition to war and in opposition to their own governments. Now who's gonna pay for these war policies of the major powers? It's the working class. Workers are being told that there's no money for education, there's no money for healthcare, but there are billions and billions of dollars for the military. With all, with the money going to like war and everything and the nuclear powers, use it for something else, you know, with other people, young people, homelessness, Use it for something good that can help society in a way. It just hurts the young people, the people that are trying to buy a house. It doesn't hurt anyone else. It's just going to hurt the next generation. Who voted for this state of affairs in which there's no money for hospitals, no money for schools, but money for billionaires and for war machines? The answer is nobody. All of the major political parties, the Labour, Liberal, Nationals and the Greens support big business and the ruling class. The Socialist Equality Party is the only party that is putting forward a perspective to end these intolerable living conditions. We demand the expropriation 
of the billions in the banks and major corporations. That this money be used for social infrastructure and social programs to end these intolerable conditions. That the billions that are spent on the war machines be used not for weapons of destruction, but for hospitals, schools, and a broad housing program. Rents in Sydney alone have gone up by 30% in the last year, while real wages have dropped by 4.5%. But this is only the conditions that face one class, the working class. The ruling elite are making money hand over fist. Nobody voted for this state of affairs. But the only way out of this situation is for the working class to unite in a genuine opposition against the very capitalist system that has created these intolerable conditions.